Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if you have no interest in producing something like this that makes it look like that A is floating, just stop watching the video and uh, go on to doing something else. But this is a pretty cool, this is probably the easiest one. Anybody could draw this in just a little bit of time. I'm going to do a little bit different than I did there. I put a different shadow. So immediately, I'm going to go to my shadow tool. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to get a shadow. And then you can play around with it, make it lighter, darker. And I'm going to go to object, break the shadow part. And now we can move that shadow out of the way. Now we need to turn this A into a curve. And I'm going to left click and right click. And the reason we want to do that so lines will snap to that curve. And just making them an angle that you feel comfortable with. And I'm drawing in 2,000 uh, two, 2, points or whatever point, you know, whatever point you just make them all the same so everything's going to be the same. Now we've got a, lang uh, a line, we got an angle, on here. it's a plus sign. And, and move that line using the X crossbar and you want it dead on that node then hit the plus sign again and put one there, hit the plus sign again. And if you realize I'm not using the duplicate key, the duplicate because it's gonna uh, keep moving around in this way. So we're, I'm off on one of them. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and just grab that X with the X part and then have it snap to that node. Then all you have to do is take your two point line and draw two points between that node, that node, that node, that node, that node, that node, and then I'm going to go across here. So we have our A. Now, and you could have done this prehand, I'm going to take our A. I'm going to set my, my nudge distance is going to be on point two for a reason but I'm going to nudge this out several amount of times and I'm going to take a two point line again, holding down the control button. So you get a flat, even line and then bring it in just below the a and control D and move it up. Now you see the lines in the middle and that top line doesn't really matter. We could actually probably grab all the lines and move that. We, you don't, you do not want to move your A, but the A is a curve. So you can go back minus front. Now you only got lines in your A and you can nudge it right back to your drawing. Now you all have to do is take this same line that you have here, hit the plus. Well, in this case, let's, let's try the duplicate key control D and let's move it down to here. And then control D and look what happened. It's, it's off a little bit. It shouldn't be. Let's back up here. If you, if you get the first one off, the rest of them are going to be off too. So let's try that again. I think that line's good. Control D. This is why a lot of times I draw in here line. Okay, that's not really working for me. So I'm just gonna place these lines in there individually. It's a little bit more time consuming. That one's probably pretty good, but I'm gonna bring it down. You can see what we're doing. I need to be right on that node. See, I'm just off on that first line. And then just hit your plus sign and go around and keep doing this. Now it'd be nice to do the duplicate, but it's just not gonna work in this case. So just hit the plus key. It doesn't take that long. You can see the, the node popping. So you know, you're right. When you, you're basically uh, snapping to those nodes. And if you don't have snap to object on, um, that might be a problem for you, but there's plenty of videos out there on how to set your snap to. And I've also realized that I'm a little bit off on my length. And that might be just because I'm not, I'm not zoomed in and I should. 
Yeah. I should have been zoomed in. So this snap to, that still doesn't look right. I'm making this a lot more difficult than it needs to be. But the, you, these lines have to be pretty close to perfect. Now we need to just do the same thing on these lines. So we're just going to hit the plus sign, and we're actually going to put some lines up here. And there's really no way to do it with the exception of uh, erasing some of the lines after they're done. So grab that line with the four point and put it here. Hit the plus sign and see what I mean. We're going to have to erase some of these lines. And I'm, I'm sorry if you can't see it all. I'm going to have to zoom in. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I'm just hitting the plus sign and snapping on that node. Almost there, folks. We could actually put one there, but that's not necessary. I'm going to take that line, hit the plus sign. You know what? We don't need a line there. We need a line here. Hit the plus sign. Snap it to it. Hit the plus sign. We're almost there, I promise you. And we're there except for cutting out these lines. And just take your virtual segment delete key. And the line is stopping it, so it's you're going to have to cut it a couple of times. And there's actually a little bit of a line there, but I don't know if we can get it. We got it. And you could put one more line there. And somehow I moved these lines. So let's get the pick tool and move these down. And if everything's fitting, uh, the smart fill tool will not leak. Sorry, my calculator button is right near my, and we're a little bit off on that line. Because you need everything not to leak. And there's a couple ways to do that. But now we need to fill in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna set my nudge distance something bigger now. We're like at three inches. I'm gonna set it for four, and I'm gonna fill in this line and nudge it over. Now I could have done this before I put the lines in, and thankfully we do have a little bit of a leak, but it's not gonna hurt us. And then just take all these and go up to object and combine. And then turn it a, a gray. Now, there's a lot of principle of thought here. You could, you could use the transformation Docker, uh, or the you know make it a, a lighter color going down heel, and then go up to object, in order, and put to the back of the page so your lines show through. That might be a little bit dark, but I would, I would put the same color. Here and then you could you don't have to move it out of the way. I do sometimes just to go, if you're going to use the transformation docker, it might help you out. And one okay, here's a reason we want to do that. Here's a good reason we want to nudge that over because we want to at all one time combine this or group it. It really would work, and then make it that gray, and then go up to object and order and back a page. So when you nudge it over the, I don't know where it went. Hit F4, it'll find stuff. There it is, way down there. I was hitting the down button. So there we go. There's the big key to F4. And then you could fill in this with the Smart Fill tool and make it actually a little bit darker, whatever you want to do. And here's the same thing. We're going to nudge these over. We're almost through, I promise you. Then select all these. And you do not have to combine them if we're just going to print them. But we see, so we got to somehow, we got a line in there. So let's do combine. Go to object and combine. Make it a gray. And this is why you want to do that order back of page because you want your lines to show. We're almost done. Now, as you can see, I put in some cut lines. So I'm just going to take, let's zoom in here a little bit. And we need to make some cut lines. You know what we're going to do first? We're going to group all this together. 
control G or group. Because then we're going to take these lines. And it doesn't matter where you start, but if you look, I cut it. I, I stole this idea from somebody that does this with pencil. And I don't know what country he's from, but I need to uh, talk to him and thank him because he's doing a, a really good, I mean, he's a true artist if you watch him work. Now, we still need a point two line down. Whoop, I changed my nudge factor, remember? So let's go point two because we want this line to be the same as the other ones. And this time I am using the duplicate key. Now we can make that line bigger anyway. You know, we can make it go to that other side. So don't worry about that. And we have these lines in the middle, but we're gonna, since we have this grouped away, we're gonna nudge it out of the way for a second. And we'll select all these lines and make them come to this line. And then we can take our, let's group this together. Control G and then nudge this back. That's about where it was. And then we could try. Nope, that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work. So we're just going to have to delete some of these lines. So what you could do, and, and I am uh, Control-D and make a duplicate of that guy, nudge it down, make it all black. Nudge it back up, nudge it over to about where it was. Well, we need to get this one out of the way more. I've only done this one time and I'm doing a little bit different. That isn't what we want. That's what we want right there, I think. Now we can put this back. You know, there's two lines in there we want to get rid of. So we're going to break the curve apart, or convert it to a curve, select it all. Ungroup it all, let's say. See if we can't get rid of those two leftover lines. break curve apart and get that line. This isn't that difficult, I promise you. I just, I'm doing it a little bit different way so I, because I wanted that better shadow. So we're gonna grab that back and I need to zoom in. And we're a little bit off, so let's nudge back. That's one thing that good about the nudge factor, we're there. Now let's just take our shadow and bring it into the paper. And you could maybe make the shadow even smaller and put it put it anywhere on the paper you want. And I'm calling it paper because I printed it out on paper. Now, and really our A might be too big for the paper itself, but that's fine. You can see I had a little bit bigger paper on this one. But all you want to do now is cut here, there, 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 and back down here. So cut, basically, let's do this, just so maybe you'll understand it. Cut all the yellow away. And then that's what it's gonna look like. And then when you lay that thing down, it really looks real. In person, it actually looks better. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.